<laughs> Trey actually called me uh, back in March when I was in rehab um, for the third time, and he uh, he asked me to be on this, and that shit meant a lot because he didn't have to do that, and I needed that at that time. There wasn't a lot of people calling me, and he reached out, and he reached out again, and he reached out again, and he reached out again, and I'm thinking about the people in my life that whether through business or friendship, that didn't call. And what he did really meant a lot. My mom was talking to me last night, and she goes, you know what he does with the city of Houston? I said, yes, mom, I'm really well aware. Um, and it just shows you what type of person he is. And obviously, these guys up on stage, they're the same type of people. They're, they're the type of people on stage right now. You I know, mean, that was God. And uh, I'm just happy to be here. Look, y'all give it up for that brother. That's <laughs> For you, real quick, brother, I, I, I got a simple question, man. You have to deal with the day to day with Snoop Dogg. Now, listen, it looks like Snoop do a lot, brother. I, I see the brother DJ and rapping TV shows, uh, gin and juice commercials. He's doing all kinds of stuff right there. So for you, how do you deal with the stress of just dealing with getting the business done, man? It's a lot that you have to make sure it goes right, brother. It, uh, I moved out to LA at the age of 22. I was born in Canada, grew up in Indiana, and went to school in Chicago. And it got too much. It, would, uh, it started with weed, then I moved on to opiates, then I moved on to Xanax, then I moved on to cocaine. And uh, in 20, 18, I actually overdosed on uh, fentanyl. Mm -hmm. I was dead for four minutes. And then four months ago, the same thing happened. So it's, uh, it just got too much. It was just like, we started rationalizing things, like I deserve this, I worked too hard. No, you're just unhappy with yourself. And uh, you know, one bad decision to ruin it, you know, when this is it's a fragile thing, life, you know? And uh, it was just like, quickly got drowning in that Hollywood lifestyle. I mean, you didn't really want to, bro. And it, it caught up quick. And sometimes you just have to realize there's a, it's a fragile thing. And, uh, you know, it's, you only get one of them, you know? 